U.S. warships and commercial vessels attacked in Red Sea. An American warship and several commercial vessels were attacked in the Red Sea, reports Associated Press. Later, Yemen's Houthi rebels claimed an attack on two ships they believed to be linked to Israel, but did not admit to having attacked the U.S. Navy vessel. The attack could potentially mark a major escalation in a series of naval attacks in the Middle East related to the war between Israel and Hamas. We are aware of reports regarding attacks on the USS Kani and commercial vessels in the Red Sea and will provide information as it becomes available, the Pentagon said. The USS Kani, a naval destroyer, detected a ballistic missile fired from Houthi-controlled areas of Yemen at the Bahamas-flagged bulk carrier Unity Explorer. The missile hit near the ship, the US said. Shortly afterward, the Kani shot down a drone headed its way, although it's not clear if the destroyer was the target. About 30 minutes later, the Unity Explorer was hit by a missile. While responding to its distress call, the Kani shot down another incoming drone. Central Command said the Unity Explorer sustained minor damage from the missile. Two other commercial ships, the Panamanian-flagged bulk carriers No. 9 and Sophie 2, were both struck by missiles. The No. 9 reported some damage but no casualties and the Sophie 2 reported no significant damage. Earlier it was reported that a US destroyer in the Red Sea shot down a drone that was probably flying from Yemen towards Israel. After the incident, the United States called on Iran to stop its irresponsible and unprofessional drone flights near American warships. The incident with the drone took place against the backdrop of Washington's state of readiness for possible active actions of Iranian-backed groups in the Middle East during Israel's military operation against Hamas militants in the Gaza Strip. In addition, in October, a US warship intercepted cruise missiles and several drones launched by the Houthis from Yemen toward Israel.